You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing WrestleMania 35 predictions. Yes. Seven and a half hours is what the uh, supposed runtime is. So. Yep. It's going to be a long one. It's true. But it's something we like, so I guess that's a good thing? Um, <laughs> it's, it's a weird r- argument, you know? Yeah. I mean, when people complain it's too long, which I get, because yeah. it's like well, working a shift. There, but... You know, it's like... Too- like there's such thing as too much of a good thing yeah kind of deal i think the the problem is that it's such a long show that you can't pace it good enough where it you know doesn't feel like it drags at some point that's fair because some matches probably feel too long and then they overcompensate somewhere else and yeah exactly so but exactly whatever um so i guess we'll get started with the pre-show yeah um it's it's hard to predict the battle royals yeah um we'll pick maybe two two choices to win sure why not right yeah. what do we want to do first we want to do the women's or the men's uh, i guess we'll do the women's first okay uh the e- easy choice is oscar yeah I, I think that's fair i think uh, that'll be one of our choices my second choice is gonna be weird it probably could be the same as mine. Lacey Evans? Yep, that was okay. going to be mine. It's, it just <laughs> makes sense. They had her come out and, you know, it's like, I feel like they're waiting to do something with her. This would be the moment to that, do it. It's true. that It would be a moment to do something with her. Yeah. So. I, I think we're. It's funny that we that's what didn't. a lot of people are thinking. Probably. Too. Yeah. It makes we, sense. We didn't discuss this at all. No. So it's just funny that. I mean, yeah. Does it really matter? Nothing. No. Who but, won it last year? Naomi. Nothing happened. Here she I think is. she had the trophy once. Yeah. With her on SmackDown. Yeah. All right. Yep. Now, last year's Andre the Giant Battle Royal, Matt Hardy won. And all that did was lead to a tag team that lasted for about four months. Yeah. So, obviously, this it's doesn't mean bright. anything either. Um, But I think, and we say this every year. You think Bray's going to return in this no. one and win? No. <laughs> Um, Braun is a uh, obvious yeah, possibility. I would say so. Um, because they seem to like to just throw meaningless things at him, like winning the greatest Royal Rumble. Yep. And uh, oh, well, I guess that's really all that he has won so far. But well, he won the tag titles with a ten-year-old last I, year. I guess so, but that doesn't really count. Um, but him or I don't know. Mustafa Ali, if he's not in it. Yeah, oh yeah, Mustafa Ali is in it, yes. If he's, because that's assuming that he's not put in the uh, U.S. title match instead. Well, the Joe versus Almas would be good. Yeah, but, I mean, I don't know. It doesn't matter if it's heel versus heel. No, I know, I know, it's just, who knows. Yeah. Watch, I'll just end up putting Joe in the Battle Royal and just have it as a U.S. title Battle Royal. That's fine. (laughs) I'm okay with that. It's funny, if you look at the, uh the wikipedia page and how many raw to smackdown stars there are <laughs> well yeah it is weird eh. i guess well there a lot of there's eight of them from smackdown in one match right oh yeah, yeah with right. the, yeah, the fatal four and i'm sure most of this is mostly tag teams yeah it's true so when you take away the entire t- yeah. tag team division like yeah um, I, I think... and it's funny that the new day is not in it because yeah. they're not doing anything technically besides Kofi anyway. That's true. Um, you know, I, I think Andrade would be a good pick as well. Strowman, the obvious pick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, 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 oh, you're just saying what your pick was? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say I said uh, I said Ali. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. No, I know you had mentioned okay. Andrade and Joe. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right. So oh, Cruiserweight title, that's the third match on the pre-show. Yeah, I know. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, no, right. I, I wasn't moving on to the main card. No. No. Uh, Buddy Murphy versus Tony Nese. Um, I want to see the Long Island boy win it. I don't. I. I uh, it would kind of make sense. I just don't see it happening. I think I think it's time for Tony Nese to uh, get a shot with it. I obviously haven't been following 205 Live, but Tony Nese seems to be the kind of guy that they see as a competent um person to put in a position but Mm -hmm. not necessarily pull the trigger on i think that buddy murphy is way too good 
to lose to someone like Tony Nice, as far as they can tell. Yeah, that's fair. There so, you go. That that's my thought process. Right. Well, at least we got it out of the way in the pre-show. I guess that's <laughs> true. Um, well, let's as many see. times we have the same thoughts, and then they go the other direction. Yeah, too. true. Um, I guess we'll start with Shane McMahon versus The Miz. Oh boy. Falls count anywhere. Yeah. The Miz is going to win. I mean, he should. He has to win. Yeah, Shane McMahon. He never wins at Mania. Yeah, that's true. He's just there. Yeah. Just Except there. for We're last year, and 80, it didn't count last year. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, no, that doesn't count. Mm-hmm. So that, that that one for me is pretty cut and dry. Oh. Um, um, make Shane look like an asshole and then have yeah. The Miz look even better as a babyface. Which true, seemed, especially if that's what's supposed to elevate him as a I bigger th- babyface. I face. think this is... They're going to pull the trigger on him soon. Yeah. Um, if if Kofi doesn't win, there's a good chance that Miz is next. Maybe he wins money in the bank. That's true. I'd be okay with that. Uh, what I was going to say is, I wonder if they're going to put Owens in the uh, Battle Royal. He has to be in it, yeah. I would imagine, if he's clear. Yeah. So you would think he would win it then, maybe. He could, yeah. Yeah. I still think it was a waste of time bringing him back before Mania. No, absolutely. It I was guess... not the right thing to do. No. Um. But I guess they For just one off that well they 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 just they wanted the heat and the heat they got it it just it just yeah it sucks for Owens yeah pretty much yeah and it's not like they had options yeah but I mean you you can utilize him like Alexa Bliss he's that's true. good enough for well that's he's what he's been team. doing I know I know but it's it's been good yeah it's true. It's not it's like true. we're like, oh, we're at the Ambrose Asylum here. Or, you know, actually, his were all right, too. But, you know, things like that. Yeah, he, w- he was very kooky back yeah. then. Um, okay, so up next, we'll go with AJ versus Randy Orton. Yeah, I don't see a reason AJ should lose this match. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I agree. AJ should win. Yeah, um, Randy do the job. He will. Yeah. I was going to say, Randy is not... He stood tall on the go-home show, too. It's true. But yeah, Orton, while obviously being notoriously hard to work with, oh. he still understands the importance of putting people over. Yeah, no, absolutely. Granted, so AJ doesn't necessarily. He doesn't need, need it, but but I th- I think that he he'll he likes working with AJ obviously because mm-hmm. he's doing you know yeah. good work that he he knows what the right thing yeah. to do is. Again, my worry, like I said on our <laughs> podcast, was this continues past Mania. When it doesn't need to. That's true. Especially with no real stakes. Mm -hmm. I agree. In play. Um, Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin. I mean... This is weird. This can't be the actual match, right? It it can. It can. It can. But this is one where Kurt Angle beats him in, like, you know, under a minute, and then all of a sudden, you know... A real opponent comes out? Another opponent. I would love to see that happen. However, however, this could be a 20-minute fight with Kurt Angle the, struggling. There's a very strong possibility that this match happens and Corbin beats him clean, <laughs> and that's just the end of it. <laughs> it's possible. To go on to main event the Royal after Mania. Yeah, because if, if, if that happens... Whatever goes on after it's gonna be so deflated. Oh yeah, that it it it's just it's funny. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's another thing with the long shows is uh, that you're gonna lose. Stuff's gonna suffer unfortunately. Yeah, because you have if you have something big, and then the next match well, you have three huge title changes that could happen. It's and, true. You know, one of them is going to be the main event. Mm-hmm. There's a there's a pretty good chance that the WWE title starts the show. Yeah. They've done it before, it's so true. it's not unheard of. And that would be a good place to start. I think so. Put, put the show off on a good note, especially yeah. if Kofi wins. you be like, all right, I'm done. See you later. No one's going to do that. Mm, I know. There's nobody watching the show for that match. For what, the WWE title? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Not just for it. You Nobody's know, going, I, I want to tune in, and once that's over, I'm done. That's not true. I do know somebody who is. But this is something that older fans that casually keep on top of the product that you know see kofi get his big day could be a reason for them eh, to tune in i i guess but i don't see those people also not being intrigued by triple h versus batista and brock lesnar versus seth rollins i I guess that's true so fair enough i i just you just don't see aj versus orton another one Mm. where that that has a lot of appeal for older fans fair enough Less less in tuned with the current product. That's true. All right, so back to Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin. Yeah, Kurt Angle's gonna lose. 
should lose. I mean, he technically should because you. It's his retirement point is to match. put somebody over. Although, I mean, granted, it is Baron Corbin. Although, in the although sense. they do say it's a farewell match, not a retirement That's match. That's true. And retirement you matches, you have to. You're supposed to lose, but farewell matches. This is uncharted territory. Know. We have a retirement match, and I don't know if that guy's going to lose. Oh, no, there's a pretty good chance that he doesn't, but um, um, that's probably the reason why they call it a farewell match, too, because they don't want two, entire, two yeah. retirement matches. No, Kurt will some... probably beat Baron Corbin, yeah. and then something else will happen. I hope so. But um, you're going to pick Baron Corbin. It, I, because I, I just think that there's they're no trying... Right situation. I know, because <laughs> I think they're doing this on purpose to make it seem like they're going to do something, mm-hmm. and... In turn, they're I don't not done that before. No, I'm just obviously that's <laughs> something they like to do. But it seems like they're trying to set it up and expecting you to just get more pissed off when they don't do. Yeah, something. I guess that's true. Yeah. They do. Yeah, there's something. So that's that's my thought. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Bobby Lashley versus the Demon Finn Balor. Yeah, no, Finn Balor's gonna win this. Yeah, there's zero percent chance Bobby Lashley retains. Yeah. Um. So Finn will again. Be Intercontinental Champion, and he'll again, probably, he'll probably feud with Jinder Mahal or do something like that. absolutely nothing with yeah. it. Which is um, another like the good news is we're coming up on a shakeup soon. It's true, allegedly. Yeah, because right now the lines of who's on what show is so blurry that it doesn't really matter anymore. Apparently, yeah, that is true. But I, I hope honestly, I wouldn't mind if like Balor took the IC title over to uh, SmackDown. SmackDown. Yeah. And then uh, Joe can go back to Raw if he retains, which I'm assuming he will. Um, he may not have an opponent. Yeah. So Samoa Joe versus Rey Mysterio. I think if it's Rey Mysterio, Joe wins. Yeah. I think if they replace him. Depending on if it's a wild card or not. Yeah, like I was, yeah, was going to say, depending on who replaces him. Yeah. And you'll be able to tell in the manner in which they replace him, too. Mm-hmm. Because they have if they make him out or something like that. Well, no, what I was going to say, if they make a big stink about his replacement, his replacement's probably going to win. win? Yeah. If if they just pull the R-Truth and Curtis Axel at the... Oh, at the last, yeah. Yeah, if they pull something like that <laughs> where they don't even make mention of it. What show was that? That was Fastlane two years, three years ago. <laughs> it was the show where Roman faced Daniel Bryan to determine who was going to face... Uh, I think that's what it was. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Um... Long time ago. Yeah. Way before we were doing this. That's true. Um, so I, I think that that will determine. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. But I'll, I'm I'll going I'm with going with Joe yeah. if all things stay the same. Joe should retain. Yeah. Um, I, Don't Roman and Drew? Yeah, Roman and Drew. Uh, we both want Drew to win. Yeah. I think that's the right decision to make. I think so, too. Um, I mean, I'm all right. I don't really care if Roman wins. It's just that... Drew would benefit more from a big win like this. Also, that kind of, it, it's kind of depends on what they're going to do Next. with another match. Yeah. Because if Brock retains, you want to see Drew win here and take that momentum into um, a title feud with Brock. So a better option would be Roman wins and Brock retains. That would be the, the WWE uh, way of doing things. Well, so we can get it again. No. Because I don't, I don't think that He's got Roman. Unfinished business, I don't man. think Roman needs to to win this match to have uh, him go after Seth if Seth wins. No, I, yeah, I like yeah. that idea. Yeah. That was going to be the other thing I said. Yeah. If Seth wins in the Universal Title, yeah, have Roman, Roman lose still because oh, okay. he doesn't need yeah, the yeah. rub. That's true. Have have you know Drew do his thing, and maybe eventually have Roman and Drew for a uh, a title, title feud. Match. Yeah. Instead of having, you know, I mean, it kind, yeah. it kind of works out. Yes, that's true. That's um, fair. But you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick Drew. Yeah, I, I'm going to as well. Yeah. I, I like the idea. I, I think that no matter what, Roman can afford to lose, uh, yeah. whereas Drew will probably be affected by it. I mean, more so. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's the fair. Uh, um, you want to go Triple H Batista? Sure. All right. Triple H loses, he must retire from in-ring competition. Um, this could be a cop-out. I mean, it's a be- good possibility. Because Triple H's last um, performance wasn't great. Not necessarily by his own fault. 
Well, I mean, it was... It was for old men. men. Yeah. yeah. Um, his match with The Undertaker at um, Down Under, or yeah. Showdown, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. That wasn't very good either. Again, no. it was against The Undertaker. Yes. Um, but... I went I, way too long. I think the real question is, how many big matches can they have or with Triple H left, in them yeah. that mean anything? Not many. So why not just end it now? Let Batista have his moment man. and be done with it. I, I think that's the, the right call. The only problem I have with it is because they have they've made such a big stink about you've never beaten me. If it, if it was the other way around, easy cut and dry. Right, right, right. Um, but this kind of leaves a, a loose end when you think about it. Yeah. But I don't know. I I I, I think that Batista probably has a good chance of winning. I think so too. So. Because otherwise they wouldn't have the the stipulation. It's true. This is no hold barred too. This pro- match will probably go on longer than it should. We'll have a- outside interference yep. to Slash some hammer. extent. Oh man, we could probably see DX. Possible. Now they're going to be in the Hall of Fame. It's so true. Might as well. <laughs> they did it Rick with Flair. Will be out there. Yeah, but he'd bleeding. be on Batista's side though. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like I know you beat me up a few weeks ago, but I forgive you. Who books this crap? Yeah. Um, Women's tag titles? Yep. The Boston Hug Connection defend against the Iconics. The Divas of Doom. That's new. That I like that. New. Beth Phoenix and Natalia. And then Nia Jackson to Mina. <laughs> That's hilarious that it's put like that. <laughs> um, they they call themselves something. I can't remember what it is. The, like the Samoan something, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, sure. Yeah. Anyway. Um, B- Bailey and Sasha will retain. I mean, I would. They have to. I would think so. There's, there's always that chance they could do a one-off and have Beth and Natalia pick it up just to drop it on Raw or something like that. That, that's the second most likely thing. Because yeah. why have Beth Phoenix come back if they're not going to do anything? Right. Yeah, exactly. So, although it was heavily implied that uh, Trish and Lita were going to stick around until yeah. this, yeah. and for this reason. But obviously that didn't happen for whatever reason. Which is fine. Oh, it's happen. not a big deal. It's just strange because they were so gung ho at the beginning and now they're gone. Yeah. Um, but I, this match is probably gonna be a mess. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Someone's gonna get hurt. Like guaranteed. It'll probably be Sasha or, or uh Bailey. Yeah. Unfortunately. And uh or it'll be Beth and Edge will come in yeah. and just start cracking some skulls. <laughs> um, right, so you're going to pick Bailey and Sasha? Yeah, yeah. It, it makes the most sense. I'll, I'll go with the second choice. Uh, the Beth Divas of Doom? Yeah. I like it. Yeah. That is really funny. It is. Um, let's Tag see. Team. Yep. The Usos versus Ricochet and Aleister Black versus The Bar versus Shinsuke and Rusev. Yeah. This Sh- match should be good. Rusev's taking the pin. Okay, you can get that out of there. Yeah. It's fine. It's going to happen. Yeah. They really don't like him for some reason. <laughs> they don't. No. Um, I interesting to see if Ricochet and Aleister Black pick up the NXT tag titles. They shouldn't, but you never know. I would, I would be okay with them having both. Yeah. There's no reason for them not to. Yeah. Because they could just easily lose the NXT ones. Yeah. Um, I believe the information came out today. I don't know completely true but the usos apparently signed a new contract so sure yeah not that it really matters i don't think that affected no, this no. in any way um bar doesn't need the titles no shinsuke nakamura and rusev having the titles will do absolutely nothing for nobody yeah they shouldn't even be in this thing no. the, if they're gonna team together it should be strictly for beating up people that they don't like for no reason yeah it's not just, uh, for two random heels we're just gonna stick together yes yeah. we don't know what to do with them yeah um, so I, I think that it should be the Usos or Ricochet and Aleister Black. Yeah. Whoever you pick, I'll pick the, uh, It would, it opposite. would be interesting for Ricochet and Aleister Black, so that's who I'm gonna go with. I like the choice. Not really gonna disagree with it, but, mm-hmm. uh, the Usos could retain all it, the possibility. Oh, there's all the possibility mm-hmm. in the world for that. So I'll go with the Usos then. All right. Um, Daniel Bryan versus Kofi Kingston for the WWE Championship. I mean... How can, how can you root against Kofi? Yeah, just just based off of how this whole thing has gone. Yeah, absolutely. You got to pick Kofi. Come on, regardless of how ridiculous it's been and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. How mind-boggling the booking has been. And well, yeah. 
Just, so. I mean, you know, they forced a lot of things. It's true. <laughs> Definitely true. But that's not a surprise. But yeah, Kofi Mania all the way. Yeah. No, 100%. And I, I think you're right. You throw this on first. Yeah, it'd be a good way to start the show. What do you throw on second? Um, That's... Kurt Angle and Baron Corbin. <laughs> Honestly, if you're not going to do something, yes. Yeah. Because why not? It's yeah. going to be a dead crowd anyway. You might as well true. have them not be able to boo. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah. Uh, Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship. So, I would like Seth to win. I mean, yeah, I would. You like would to like to Seth yeah, to win, absolutely. Um, I'm gonna pick. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna have to do it. Uh-huh. I'm gonna have to pick Brock because <laughs> we said this. I think last week. Well, you pick all, him. all three of them aren't gonna win. No, no, it no, cannot no, happen. No, no, no. It, it's not gonna happen. So, you got to pick the lesser of the two evils, or three evils, if you want to put I it that guess, way. yeah. So, I would rather see Brock retain mm-hmm. than means... Daniel Bryan yeah. or um, Ronda. Yeah. So, I would much rather see Becky and Kofi win than see Seth win. So, I'm going to pick Brock, and hopefully they're listening, <laughs> and they do what I want them to do. Because well, that works so, and so there, well. And the best part is there's no reason why they can't do all three. No, there's no, no, no reason at all. But they're just not going to. They're not, they're not going to. So, I'd love to eat my words, but, you know. Yeah, so anyway, so who do you pick? I've accepted our fate. It's, it's oh, So you, you think yeah, that Brock yeah, is uh, definitely going to retain? Yeah, I have. All right, it's fair. Seth doesn't need the title. It's true. I, it's just, you know... It, it would be nice. Yeah, have something a little different. Oh, just a little. Yeah. But. I mean, well, because it's either... What does is, what is Brock do if he doesn't... If he drops the title? We're in, you know... He doesn't have to do tentative. anything. No, I know, but I mean... Because Brock is on a, a an appearance basis. Yeah. So he literally can be off TV for until next WrestleMania... Yeah. It's not going to affect him anything. But I think having Brock retain and then having Drew McIntyre challenge him would be. No, that's fine. Uh, that's that's part of the reason why and I was the okay big match with. You have it, Money in the Bank or something. Like that's that. fine. Yeah, yeah that, that's the whole reason why I'm okay with yeah, yeah, Brock winning. Yeah, absolutely. Is because there's something to happen afterwards. Whereas last year the light wasn't at the end of the tunnel. No. It was Roman Reigns or bust, <laughs> and that's it. Everybody got busted on. Oh, yeah, like, pretty much. Wrong. Well, between between WrestleMania, the Greatest Royal Rumble, and then nothing for a few months, right? Yeah, did Brock wrestle so. at Money in the Bank? I don't think he did. No. I think the next match he had was at SummerSlam. Yeah. So, whatever. Yeah, boy. Um, and then we have the main event. I believe that's all that's left. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch. Both women's titles on the line. Yeah, winner takes all. Yeah, um, I would obviously, and I, I think you agree. Becky Lynch is our choice. I mean, yeah. The stipulation scares me because I feel like there's a good chance Charlotte walks away with both those titles. Yeah, because I, I don't, I don't think I honestly this stipulation makes this a Ronda won't win. Yeah. Because I don't see her going to SmackDown. Right. Right. So, I think and- it's got to be one of the two. Um, Becky or Charlotte, but it's just this damn stipulation. Well, yeah. This makes I, me feel like it's going to be Charlotte. Ronda's probably not taking the pin regardless. No. I think I think Charlotte or Becky, whoever right. doesn't win, is going like to take that, it. That would just, you know, that would be the F you to all the fans that we got last WrestleMania, too. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> With Brock Lesnar beating Roman to a bloody pulp. Yeah. I mean... I'm still going with what I want. Yeah. I'm going with Becky. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go with Becky, too. Yeah. You have to. Yeah, yeah. So. It's true. But, yeah. I oh. uh, believe that's everything. Yeah. Um. Hopefully, we have some good entrances, too. Yeah. Um, Triple H, H is going to do something. <laughs> uh, Triple H will do something. The, the women are probably going to do something. Yeah. Uh, oh, Ronda Rousey's going to have uh, Joan Jett do her... Uh, her do the oh, theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I think I saw something mm-hmm. about that. Um, oh, I forgot Elias. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He'll face The Undertaker. No, nah, he's just going to get beat up by someone. Maybe Cena. Maybe, maybe, uh, 
You gotta be an outside person, right? You know what they could do? What? If Rey Mysterio isn't good to go, mm -hmm. bring in Cena, have him face Joe. That's fine. Take the that'd US be, title right off. That'd be cool. I like that. <laughs> oh, I'm boy. quite alright with that. Yeah, right? So. Alright. Well, that was our WrestleMania 35 predictions. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.